My name is Patty. I'm the Chief Communications Officer. On most days, Patty Moon leads the communications team in Aurora Public Schools. Here we handle internal, external communications for the district. But lately, she's filling a new role once a week in the classroom. Well, I'm the support person for Iowa Elementary. Uh, I helped teach third grade reading and writing and kindergarten reading and writing. And uh, we read Grumpy Corn about a grumpy unicorn the other day. Aurora Public Schools says the district's normal substitute pool is between 500 and 600 people. Today, it is below 300. Moon says about half the time they need a sub right now, they can't find one. Support staff numbers are also low, so she, along with about 200 non-classroom district staff members, are assigned to help. The school will sort of determine, do we need this person to lead a lesson today and follow lesson plans, or is it more just lunch duty, right? Having an extra person in the lunchroom. Even administrators, like Superintendent Rico Munn. Aurora Hills Middle School is his assignment on Tuesdays. APS is not alone. So far, just this semester, schools in Denver, Boulder, and Adams County either had to move to remote learning for a few days or cancel school due to staffing shortages. More pandemic disruptions to schools. Aurora hopes this solution keeps students learning on yeah. track. Continuity, right? We need, want to maintain those learning environments as much as possible, and that's what this is trying to do. Nobody knows how long schools will be dealing with these shortages, but APS is assuming that they'll be doing this help out thing at least to the end of the school year. Moon says even financial incentives offering more money don't seem to be solving the problem. Beginning in January, Kyle, most APS schools will also be starting an hour late on Mondays. This is to give more planning time for the teachers that are already on staff, but so overextended right now. All hands on deck. Yeah. All right, yeah. Jennifer, thank you.